Welcome back to another exciting episode of Sen's Den of Sen. Uh, I had some trouble recording the audio on this originally, so I am dubbing over it right now. So bear with me if I make mistakes. This is for a lobby world competition that we are having for the Apocalypse and Reporcalypse servers uh, prior to opening them up for public use. So this is actually my entry into the uh, show, uh, if you will. Uh, I'm standing on the spawn point, hence the gold block. Up ahead you'll see two signs, Apocalypse on the left and Reporcalypse slash Pigdig on the right. And the mail room right behind us. <clears throat> so we're going to take a quick uh, tour down the Apocalypse hallway. Basically you'll come down here and you'll just step through here. We can make this look any way we want in order to make it prettier. And uh, I keep going in and out of the portal. Okay. We're going to run back over and take a look at the Reporcalypse slash Pig Dig side. And these are basically the same. There is room for expansion on all three sides. So you can run down, you can run in, and you will be ported. We're back at the spawn point, and straight ahead there are two signs for the World of Beans on the left and the Temporcalypse servers on the right. I notice that I have some lighting issues. If you follow the signs though, the Temporcalypse sign will take you down into the hallway with the Temporcalypse worlds, and the Beans signs will do the same thing. So we're going to run down, we're going to take a look. Uh, notice the Temporcalypse sign on the right. Follow it down, there's a sign on the right that says Temporcalypse of Worlds. And each one of these archways is a gateway into a Temporcalypse. Now with the way that the Multiverse Portals plugin works, as soon as you step right there, you will be ported over to the world that that portal links to. There is room for expansion. Uh, obviously I'm themed Mayan Ruins style. So, as you can tell, the hallway continues on, but the hallway has collapsed. So, down the road we can renovate and restore the hallway. <clears throat> Across the other side of the courtyard, there is a, uh, the portal for beans is nearly identical. And, of course, the uh, Mayan temple in the distance, and the Intelodont sign right on the right-hand side. Intelodont is a hardcore survival world. If you die, you don't get to go back in. If you find the portal out, you can exit and go back in as you see fit. Two signs, one shows you exactly where the portal is, and the other tells you that by pushing this button you agree to die, which is pretty accurate. And once you come through, the portal closes behind you, or the door does, and as soon as you cross this threshold, you'll actually be ported, so you don't get anywhere near the lava. And if I can learn to type, I could have done that in one shot. Here we are, back in the entryway. We're going to go take a look at uh, mailboxes here. Now I have these categorized based on rows. Row 1 is all, all the way to the left. Row 2 is the next one over. There are 11 mailboxes per row. And that is your new mail light. So when someone puts something in your chest, they'd flip the switch on, your light would kick on. Addressing works by simply placing your name on a mailbox sign and then your box number, which if you are row 2, box 1, it would be R2B1. If you're row 10, box 1, it would be R10B1, as in this example. And all the way down here, it would be R10B11 for row 10, box 11. Or 10-11 if you want to shorten it even more. And, oh, we're definitely in uh, ancient temple ruins. Here's the stairwell up. Now I do have a couple hidden things in here. This is a 
another collapsed hallway. There's a couple hidden uh, Easter eggs uh, that'll need to be found. I did that just for fun. And this is the uh, Mayan god, the Emerald Phoenix. I made that up. I just wanted something to sort of tie it together and make it feel old temple. And that is my pride and joy, the aqueduct. And since we're in creative mode, I'm going to fly up here and give you guys a bird's eye view. I put a lot of time and effort into making that feel old jungle world Mayan. And it works pretty well. And it looks like one of our pillars collapsed. And here's our temple. <clears throat> now I've intentionally set this so that people cannot climb up on top of the temple. They can't escape this region. Uh, the walls are blocked on both sides. Basically once you're inside this area you can't get out and we're gonna fly up here and just take a quick look at the top of the temple nothing to see in an aerial view of the courtyard and the temple ruins and as I said the sides are blocked you can't get out even from the second level due to uh, jump limitations. Now I hollowed out part of the pyramid for the purposes of a memories room or a player's room, a member's room, something where people can put their sign with their name on it that says, hey, I've played here. Uh, they can put in their memories of what they love best about the Apocalypse and the Reporcalypse. Uh, you could do practically anything you want with this room, and that was my original goal. I've decided to leave it open for people to decide on their own what they would like to do. And apparently I'm just going to sit here. Because I don't remember sitting here this long when I recorded the video. <clears throat> And you can see the room is quite large and can be tweaked and you can do anything you want with it. Well, thank you for watching and this is my submission.